guys, today I'm going to show you how I do my cold brew coffee concentrate with my toddy cold brew coffee system. I had a couple people ask to show this on video, so I'm just going to get ready to make some coffee for the week, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Here's what I use. This is the cold brew system. It comes with this big canister. It comes with a handle that's really helpful um, when you get ready to pour the coffee in. Go ahead and put that on first. It really makes a difference if you have this on before you do anything else. Then this is the filter. I have used this filter about six times, I think six times already, and you can use it up to ten times. You rinse it out at the end. I'll show you that later. And then um, you store it in the fridge or freezer. I freeze mine. Then before I go to use it, I just um, rinse it with some hot water until it's flexible. So this filter goes down inside of the bottom of the canister like that, and you have to just kind of work it in to get it to lay flat in the bottom. So there it is, you can see it in the bottom because it's kind of black now, which is fine. And then you put the a cork plug thing in the bottom, make sure that's said nice and secure, like that. You see it there? And then I just go ahead and set it down on a plate just in case it were to happen to leak, that at least that would catch a little bit of the, of the coffee that would pour out. It, your toddy comes with a little instruction book and I always reference it to make sure I don't mess anything up. So the first thing that you add in the bottom of the canister is a cup of water. And I just use plain old tap water. Of course, if you wanted to have like magically wonderful coffee, you could use um, filtered water, but I don't have a filter in my fridge, so all good. Then you're going to put in one and three-fourths cup of ground coffee. This is the coffee that I drink all the time anyway. This is Java Time. It's a a pound of coffee that you can get for five dollars at Big Lots and it's my favorite coffee it's so good so I'm gonna go ahead and put in one and three-fourths cup of coffee right in here and I just use a fourth cup and count to seven you want to kind of try to spread that out evenly so it's a flat layer and not a mound of coffee in there then you add three cups of water slowly over the top of your grounds and you want to kind of do it in a in a circular motion so I'm gonna speed this up so the video isn't forever just remember to do this slowly Okay, now I'm supposed to wait for five minutes before I do anything else. I'm going to set my timer for five minutes, and I'll be right back. So here's what the coffee looks like after that five-minute waiting period. Most of the water just goes right through the coffee grounds. You can see just right there a little tiny bit of liquid, but most of it has seeped through the coffee grounds, and you can't see it anymore. Okay, so now I'm going to add one and three-fourths cup of coffee again on top of that. Be careful not to bang. Be careful not to bang the measuring cup on the side of the container now because I don't want it to shake the grounds down and might clog the filter so be careful with that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with three cups of water slowly circling it on top. That was one in real time. As you can see, it um, that's a shadow on my coffee grounds. It doesn't look actually look darker in real life. Right now, the top of the coffee grounds are all dry. So what you do is you take a spoon and kind of mash it down very gently. So I'm just going to take a large serving spoon and just very carefully uh, mash the grounds down until the water kind of squirts up a little bit, so that all the grounds on top are wet. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done. So now it looks almost like chocolatey and muddy. I've got one more spot right here I'm going to do. You just press down until you see the water kind of rise up like that. And that's pretty good. So it's all wet on top for the most part. Pretty good. I've got maybe one more spot right here I should do. And then you just let this sit for 24 hours just like this. You don't have to cover it or anything. I usually just kind of push it back on the back of the counter so it doesn't get knocked or anything. But be careful, you not, are not supposed to stir it because that will clog the filter. So I'm just gonna put it back here for 24 hours and I will see you tomorrow. 
All right, it has been 24 hours and it's kind of dark outside right now. We're getting ready to have a storm, but I have to show you this now. I can't wait for the light to get any better. So there you can see it has gotten a lot wetter than it even was yesterday. So I have this ready to go and I have my carafe right here. This is what comes with the toddy, this little glass carafe like this. So I can't really do this while holding the camera. So I'm just gonna set it up there and then I'll show you how it works. But, and there it goes. The liquid comes out very quickly. It doesn't take it long at all for it to drain through. So you just really pick up the container with the handle and it's easy just to hold it with one hand while you pull the plug out while holding it over the canister and then set it right down. It fits right on top of the canister that way, it's, or the carafe, it's really easy to do. It takes just a few minutes. I like to let it sit here for about 15 minutes so I make sure I get every last drop. But really, as you can see how quickly it's filling up, it only takes a few minutes for it to completely drain through. All right, I'm all done with that. The filter is done. So this much coffee lasts me about seven or eight days of drinking iced coffee instead of hot coffee every morning. So there's the coffee. And then over here, the um, container, I just take up my spatula and just scoop out the grounds into the trash can. And I'm gonna pull the filter out and rinse it out. So there's the filter all rinsed out. You don't have to let it dry or anything. I just stick it right in a Ziploc bag and then I write on there, I'm doing like hash marks for the number of times I've used it because you can only use them 10 times. So I still have a few more to go. Throw it in the freezer and it'll be good to go for next time. Mm -hmm.